Hey y'all, so this is a uh, demonstration of the Air Server software. It's free to try for seven days, which is what I'm using right now. And you can get a student teacher license for 12 bucks uh, for up to three licenses. So I think for $24, uh, sorry, my iPad went to sleep. So for $24, we'd have all six people in the department, so maybe... Um, and there may be more than that, but very, very cheap. We're talking about, you know, less than 40 bucks to outfit everybody in the department with, with this app. And the way it works is it actually just converts, um, it converts your computer, your MacBook or PC, um, into uh, a Mac, uh, an Air TV server. That your so it essentially becomes sort of an Air TV that your iPad can then connect to. So you know when I, as you'll notice, I can I can rotate the screen, um, but I have to re-rotate it because it's outside of my recording zone. Um, actually, now I can re rotate it, and I can maybe click and drag. There we go. Click and drag that, and what I can do is double click on the home button now, and when I click on the Air TV, it, it notices, um, first of all, it notices another iPad in the classroom, and there's actually the ability to share iPad to iPad. It notices the two Apple TVs. Um, that are in existence and then it says Henshin's MacBook Pro and literally that's all students need to do is just click that and put mirroring on and they can your their screen their iPad screen will then be projected through your laptop PC or MacBook um, I haven't checked to see if there's a password but I'm pretty sure you could password protect it if you wanted to meaning that if they wanted to grab the screen, they'd have to enter a password. But I'm pretty sure um, it is password protected. And I'm just gonna I'm going into a student project here that we did real quickly, and just to show you that you can go in iMovie and you actually actually preview. This picture shows when people come together in the U.S. We help each other greatly. So you can see the whole preview. You know, you can give examples of how to actually use the app, and it's pretty cool. Um, well, that's about it. So I would encourage you. Again, it's called. Um, let me bring this up. It's called Air Server. So if you Google Air Server, you're going to come up with this guy right here. The game console for Mac PC has arrived. Air Server. It's uh, AirServerApp.com. And you download now. It'll give you some options. You can go ahead and do the seven-day free trial, or if you want to go ahead and purchase it, you can purchase it. Um, so the free trial, they're going to ask that you put in your email address. And after you put in your email address, you can uh, you'll get an email with a link to the download. And, and then they're going to ask you for an activation code after you install. But for the free trial, you just put your email address in there, and then you're good to go. So, and as soon as you install it, you're going to see a little icon up in your screen. Right above here, you can't see it because uh, it's outside of the recording area. But a little icon that looks like this in your home screen. And you just click on that and um, basically, uh, well, you click on that on your iPad. So that, And this is where you adjust the preferences. So I'm going to go to Preferences. And there is indeed a password here. You can also do dual mode AirPlay, where two screens can be on at the same time. That was really designed for gaming, but if you wanted to do a compare and contrast, I suppose you could do something like that as well. Um, some audio um, options, display options, and then your mirroring options. So that's it. Highly recommended. Um, you know, twelve dollars for three licenses. We're talking four dollar investment. 
um, versus $160. So I, at this point, I'm definitely recommending it. In fact, I'm, I've, had, I've had some issues with Air TV. Primarily, it prevents me from connecting through the projector through the regular cord. And there's been some resolution issues and some audio issues. And I'm actually going to get rid of the Air TV, uh, probably, or uninstall it for the time being and just start using Air Server myself. So hopefully you found that to be informative. Uh, go ahead and give it a shot and let me know if you have any questions.